Wow, look at this. That is sick, holy. What's going on everyone? It's F5 of the card guys today. I've got a bunch more pristine marketing stuff, but we're going to look at basketball. All right, we'll take a quick break from hockey because the basketball season is going on, and I figured we should do some more basketball stuff since this stuff's actually kind of affordable. So we've got 2010 to current. We get three or five cards in each of these packs. I believe they go for about $2 online. I forget now. Uh, we've got the three superstar cards per pack here. So let's see who they consider superstars. Uh, I've got a Hall of Famer pack. You get three cards here. And then these ones, these return. These are the hit packs. You get a jersey or autograph card uh, in each of these packs guaranteed. So we'll save these ones for last because we know they're the hits. Um, I've got the book of Pedersen for me here, but I don't know if he's got any powers on the basketball side, so we won't be tapping him today. I do have some top loaders on the side, just in case we do find something good. And, uh, yeah, so here we go. Let's start with the Hall of Famers, then we'll go to the Superstars, and then we'll go into the 2010s before we go into those final packs there. All right. Uh, but first, let me open a tasty beverage. Cheers, guys. I've got my trusty assistant today. So let's get to it. Hall of Famers pack. You get three cards. The first card is already Larry Bird. That's a pretty sweet start. All right. Go pristine marketing. I got myself a Larry Bird. By the way, I kept all of these face down so I didn't see anything. I didn't want to spoil anything here, okay? So Larry Bird to start. All right, I'll take it. Next up, you've got, wow, look at that, Skybox David Robinson. That is shiny. Whew, that is nice. I'll take it. Followed by another David Robinson from Topps 2013-14. That's quite nice there, yeah. Cool, awesome. So not a bad start, guys. David Robinson, David Robinson, and Larry Bird. So the Hall of Famers were pretty decent. I said I'd do the superstars next, so let's see who they count as three superstars. First one, Kyle Lowry. Ha! Huh. My man, Kyle Lowry. Trusty assistant. So we got Panini Revolution, Kyle Lowry. Look at that, we got ourselves a Prism, Al Horford. Pretty nice. Followed by another revolution of Blake Griffin. So that's pretty good. That's, <laughs> that's pretty nice stuff, man. To be honest, for the price point, I don't think you can beat it at this point. I doubt they'll give me anything, any good inserts because that's what these uh, special packs are for. But you never know. Kyle Lowry, Kalo, next pack. You got Jerry and Jackson Jr. All right, so this is from 1920. It's more recent. Donruss 1920. Okay, I'll take it. We've got DeMar DeRozan Prism. So this came from the year he was traded. So he's got the Raptors uniform, but the Spurs on the bottom. That's pretty cool. Followed by Gordon Hayward, Donruss Optic. I always like the way Optic looks. I actually like Optic more than I like uh, Prism. I find Prism a little bit too overboard with the shine. And then Optic just uses a nice high gloss with a little bit of accents to uh, really highlight and showcase the player in the card. But that's just my opinion. I'm probably wrong. Somebody's going to tell me that Donruss Optic sucks. I just know it. Anyway, next up, 2010. There we go. We've got... Uh, Boban Marjanovic on the back here. Trusty assistant. Let's see what we get. We got Reggie Jackson. 
Ooh, we got a Tim Hardaway of the Warriors. Prism. That's pretty sweet. Cool, cool. All right. And Landry Fields followed by Jeff Green. Pinnacle. Okay. Not bad. I think the, the hit was the Tim Hardaway there. That's a pretty nice card. I think so far that Hall of Fame pack has probably been the best for me. I really like that uh, this David Robinson card. That is a sweet card. But uh, I digress. There's still more basketball to come. So 2010, one more pack here. They sealed it the wrong way. Maybe that's a sign. Maybe that means we're going to get something awesome, guys. Maybe, maybe. Lots of questions to be answered right here. And the first card is Channing Fry, so nothing too awesome. Got an Enos Cantor. You have Chris Middleton, Dante Exum, and Tayshawn Prince. So, um, and two of these sheets. <laughs> All right, so thanks, Panini. I mean, Pristine Marketing. Nothing really big to write home about here, but uh, a lot of Prism cards. So if you guys are looking for base prism cards to complete your sets or anything this is a good opportunity to, to look into panini all right so i've got four of these memorabilia cards i'm just going to give them a nice little shuffle here and let's see what we get <clears throat> first pack wow look at that three star swatches from sp game U. so this is upper deck and it's numbered Four out of 50, you get Luol Deng, Tyrus Thomas, and Joachim Noah. I guess the one that's missing would be Derek Rose, but that is awesome. Holy, that is cool. Number four of 50. I'm just going to try and focus that for you. I can't get it, but man, that is sweet. Four of 50. I'll take it. I'm going to leave it in this little protective seal right now because I don't trust myself right now. So let's, let's just leave that one as is. All right. Next one, we've got Panini Threads 1415 of Jordan Adams. All right, uh, don't know much about Jordan Adams, but it is his rookie material card. So uh, somebody out there maybe can enlighten me, but uh, there you go. I still think the best card right now is that three-star swatches. Next one. Oh, this is pretty awesome. We've got an Authentics. Uh, aficionado of Kevin Love, numbered 116 out of 175. That's pretty cool. <laughs> that is pretty awesome. All right, last card. Okay, guys, last card. Wow, look at this. That is sick. Holy. Quincy Pondexter, rookie with materials and hard signed autograph wow from 2010 2011 certified i know he didn't turn out to be a huge star or anything but that is a really cool card hard signed there's a little bit of the foil coming up that's something that's standard with a lot of these older cards especially these really foily ones from panini but there you go there's some material there there's the hard signed autograph uh, i'm going to open this up maybe it's numbered so give me a sec guys so, but I got to say, um, I don't know, people probably say it's not worth buying because it's whatever, but it's really hard to get basketball cards these days. And there you go, Quincy Pondexter. And it is numbered. There you go, 505 out of 585. That's a weird number to go up to, but I'll take it. Whew. All right, guys. Let me know what you guys think about the, the uh, pristine marketing stuff. I think it's worth it based on all the stuff that you can potentially get. Let me know what you guys think about the break. Let me know what you guys think was the best card in the break. As always with the card, guys, like, comment, subscribe. You know, stay safe, stay healthy, and of course, drink to that. Cheers, guys.